enabled. Wazirx and CNBC TV18 present Crypto Digital Assets of the Future. Hello and a very warm welcome to CNBC TV18 and Wazirx present Crypto the Digital Assets of the Future. While we do understand and has been reported in various news reports that nearly 10 million crypto investors are in India as per 2021 data. while where there is no clear indications from rbi or from the income tax authorities but we do understand that if you are making an income out of cryptocurrencies then you have to pay income tax here so even as we await the regulatory clarity on this one how are people dealing with it and how do you side by the law is the kind of understanding we will have from our guest amit gupta is md sag infotech and he joins us on the show amit hi thank you so much for your time So we do understand there's a lot of people who are, uh, you know, who are investing in cryptocurrencies, who have made it their passive business as well. There also is a bit of a FOMO, that is fear of missing out, that has led to a lot of people investing in cryptocurrencies. And with the kind of volatile moves that we have in this space, there are people who made losses, but there are people who made a lot of profits as well. What is your sense, first of all, on how this income should be treated? There is no such norm. By the CBDT, ki how it will be taxable in India. So, as per general perception, ki, uh, that uh, uh, in uh, if the any person working uh, doing the that uh, cryptocurrency in regular way, in trading, just uh, selling and purchasing in regular intervals, then it can be treated as a business income and taxable as a business head income. Or if any one any person invest that money into the uh, investment purpose or uh, so some long term vision so that will be chargeable as a capital gain had income in which if the he holds the currency for a 3 years and more then it will be chargeable as a long term capital gain or less than 3 years then it will be chargeable as short term capital gain so uh, in any case Uh, the investment purpose the uh, money was incurred or regular or in uh, for long term then it will be uh, treat the income on it will be treat as business income or capital gain income so amit we do understand that when you are buying a cryptocurrency or holding it you don't have to pay any taxes on that it is only when you sell cryptocurrency and you earn profit out of that do explain to us also on how do you look at various ways of trading into cryptocurrency i could be a frequent trader i could also be an investor or i would want to take it take a look at it as a business for myself uh, does my tax implication also change accordingly yes as per your uh... working ki if you are trading the that cryptocurrency then you have to uh, treat this income as a business income and in case of if you are buying the cryptocurrency then there is a no taxation on the buying when you will sell then it will be chargeable then the tax liability will be occurred and uh, one thing which is very important ki that ki if the payment is direct, directly uh, done Uh, out of india then maybe there is a possibility ki that you have to pay tds also to the indian government because as per section 195 if there is any payment made to uh, outside india then you have to deduct that tds at least 20% of uh, uh, rate so it is very important thing that ki everybody should uh, remember this thing ki if they are doing with outside india exchange then they have to uh, there is a liability to deduct the tds also if they are doing duly uh, doing the these transaction with indian exchange then there is a not no any tds liability will be occurred on the purchaser on the other side if anyone uh, invested the money for long term but there is no frequent transaction on uh, uh this uh, cryptocurrency then it will it can be treated as a long uh, capital gain or it will be uh, capital gain will be decided on the tenure of the holdings if it will hold more than 3 years then it will uh, uh, chargeable as a capital gain at the rate of 20% and if it's uh, uh, sold within 3 uh, years then it will be chargeable as a short term capital gain and the tax will be Uh, as per slab applicable 
Amit, just for the clarity of uh, viewers yet again, if you could tell us on how it is a capital gain when it, when it is being uh, invested and how or, and when do you look at it is in sense of business income. How would you separate the two? If anybody wants, he, he has the money, good money for that. He want to trade this uh, 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 currency because uh, the variation is very large. He, in now in days, nowadays, he, yeah, you just check that key currency as a very uh, whenever it's high and uh, sometimes it's low. So it is much better that key uh, person should have invest uh, in cryptocurrency for long term period. So they can gain the money if uh, uh, anybody can trade this uh, uh, cryptocurrency, then it will uh, it required so much of money to uh, buy and sell uh, that uh, cryptocurrency. So much better that ki in a small amount, ki some people have invest um, uh, money whenever the price is decreasing trend. So it will, after four to five years, they can earn very good return. You've explained us uh, on how it can be treated as a business income, or you can pay taxes as a capital income, capital tax gains onto this one. There are a couple of other ways as well, Amit, and do explain that to us. Uh, one way of looking at it is income from other sources, and yet another is income from uh, or a speculative income in that sense. So, when uh, can this be treated in that way also? If yes, then what are the liabilities here? Right now, CBDT has notified, not notified anything in the, in this regard because the currency is not uh, uh, a capital asset. So maybe in future, uh, CBDT can treat is a as a business income or other sources income, depend upon the transaction volumes. If it is it, it's frequently, then it can be treated as a business income. Otherwise, it can be created as a uh, other sources income. In the, uh, both the difference uh, in this case is uh, in business income you can claim the expenditure, but in case of other sources income, we cannot claim any amount of expenditure. Uh, due to there is no explanation given by the government in this regard. So as per uh, me, ki, uh, business income and uh, capital gain is much better uh, option to uh, carry on these transactions because other sources income not uh, a criteria ki that uh, ki you can uh, presume that ki this is a other sources income. No uh, uh, government has not notified this anything in this regard. So as per transaction done by because the, the uh, crypto transaction is done on exchange basis or exchange basis may be possibility to uh, for business income and capital gain income only not for uh, other sources because once you are doing the any transaction of shares securities uh, all are uh, done on the ex uh, uh, through stock exchange so then uh, stock exchange is uh, income in shares it's in regular way then it's treated as a business otherwise it's treated as uh, investment income so I think so ki that uh, there is less possibility to treat as a, uh, as a other sources income. Amit, uh, there were various reports in the recent few months, especially when the cryptocurrency prices were trading at an all-time highs, on how the IT department had sent notices to people who had made profit from these cryptocurrencies. So, uh, uh, what, what to be just, just to be very sure, to be on the safer side, if there are people who are trading, people who are selling cryptocurrencies for profit, what is the first thing that they should be talking to their CA or how should they be filing their taxes? What is the step-by-step -step way of doing this? Once the any people are doing the this crypto transaction, then he has to told his CA about when he has purchased, when he has sold, what amount he has purchased and uh, for what amount he has sold because there are exchanges in India also and there is a transaction. Many people are doing these transactions outside India without uh, using the Indian network or Indian exchange. So it is a both things are very different. In that case, if anybody is purchasing or selling cryptocurrency, then he has to first involve, uh, uh, take the consultancy with his consultant. So the proper taxation will be taken from account. Ki how many cryptocurrency he has purchased for what amount? What is the rate of conversion 
for uh, at that time what time when he had purchased or sold uh, but what is the rate of the uh, currency is such ki he has purchased in the dollar then the what is the conversion rate at that time the dollar because all will materialize ki that ki he has paid in uh, 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 in a dollars then the taxation will be different in that case so it is uh, importantly ki that ki he has purchasing and buying then he should uh, uh, first take care that ki uh, payment what is the payment mode to whom he is paying so the, if there is any liability of tds then he has to direct the tds if the payment done outside india directly uh, or if there is a exchange involved then there is a no problem after that he has to consult if there is a frequently transaction then he has to decide ki that he, there is a advance tax liability so he has to uh, in uh, when he is started the person has started he has to consult with his uh, consultant then uh, after that he has to proceed because uh, when he has uh, gaining income or loss income then there is a many things which we uh, the person has to take care ki advance tax to be paid if there is any loss then there how it is it is it is to be treated if there is any uh, uh, foreign purchase uh, for uh, in foreign currency purchase then there has to uh, changes in the capital gain schema ki how it will be treated so uh, majorly first he has to consider uh, uh, that he has to acknowledge with his uh, consultant all the things so in future there is no problem will occur otherwise it as uh, many things that they have uh, uh, getting they have getting uh, all the things in the from the foreign transaction and rbi also involved in that key how they are uh, uh, transferred the fund and getting the fund from foreign currency so there is some uh, compliances from the rbi side also you know and we've been talking to exchanges also they tell us that um there are regular ticket size basically is 10000 rupees to perhaps a lakh of rupees is how people are investing in cryptocurrencies so something uh, as low as 10000 rupees where you might be looking at a profit of 2 or 3000 rupees how do you uh, put that in your tax schedule how do you pay taxes on that amount uh, for a small investor there is a no problem because it's a very less amount if a small person is saving something in that uh, 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 using the exchange, uh, so I think there is a no problem in that case. If the profit is uh, not more than two lakh fifty thousand, then there is a capping. The, the no taxation on that. Uh, and the, if the there is a slab of ten to twenty percent, then also there is no problem because when problem occurs when the there is a high value transactions. Otherwise, uh, if you are doing the Indian exchange. and doing very lesser amount but frequently then it will again chargeable as a business head income not capital gain so uh, for 2000 3000 i think there is a no problem uh, in a uh, some uh, uh, up to the limit of exempted income there is no problem because the quantum and the value both are very lesser but in case of you are purchasing Four, five Bitcoin, three Bitcoin, ten Bitcoin, purchasing, selling. Then there is a difficulties. Ki that ki uh, you will be in the eye of the uh, uh, RBI and income tax. In that case, it's a very typical that ki you can get the notice from the both the department. All right, that's a lot of clarity, Amit, and thank you so much for that. But with that, we'll go for a very short break. This is all about cryptocurrencies and when you are trading them, the kind of amount you're putting in, the kind of profit that you're making, and how tax liable all of that is. But after this break, we'll talk about the mining side of it. If you are mining a cryptocurrency, then what are the tax liabilities there? We we'll get your clarity on that. Wazirx and CNBC TV 18 present. Crypto: Digital Assets of the Future.
Welcome back and you're watching our special series where we are talking about taxation implications in case of cryptocurrencies. We've spoken about that part already. We will talk about the mining part of this. When it comes to mining, it's not just about generating a cryptocurrency. It also is about getting those assets, those resources, all of that in place as well. So my question, Amit, is that if uh, somebody wanted to start mining in India, and I'm assuming there are some miners in India, uh, what kind of capital investment goes into that? Even if we don't have a fair number here, but since it is capital intensive, are there any deductions in uh, uh, in, in taxes that these miners can get? Uh, right now, there is no government uh, uh, support in that area. While RBI allowed, ki you can trade in uh, cryptocurrency, but uh, uh, if it all depend upon the quantum, ki how bigger you want to do the work. If you initially start with the 8 to 10 computer, then maybe there is a uh, 20, 25 lakh rupees required. But if you are creating ki, that ki you want to go for a big, then it created in a millions dollar will required to invest because there is a high, uh, big space uh, uh, and the computers, uh, computer specifications should be very good. Power backup, UPS, and uh, all the things, uh, uh, good light connection, a generator backup, and uh, uh, AC plant, central AC. So the all the things uh, it required, so it, so it will create a huge amount investment. Uh, it cannot say it depend upon the uh, how many computers, how big you, how many currency you want to create. It depend upon the uh, that requirement how much you will be invest many people are doing two or three computer 10 computer 50 computer and generating the uh, cryptocurrency but in that case maybe 50 lakh 70 lakh rupees one lakh one, one cr rupees is required but if you go for a big then it required millions of dollars so your point really is that it all depends upon the quantum on what your investment is and your tax implications or the liability will come accordingly. So let's also assume that uh, a Bitcoin has been or rather a cryptocurrency has been mined uh, with the kind of cost or with the kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, the value to cryptocurrency is right now. Are there any tax implications at that too? Regarding uh, tax implication, there is nothing said by the CBT or any other Organize, uh, uh, authority of India, but uh, in case uh, if you are selling cryptocurrency, then definitely the tax liability will be occurred. And uh, other one is key that in case of deductions, so once you are operating the any uh, organization, you can claim the all the expenditure. There is no problem in that case. You can ca get the GST credit. You can uh, uh, pay the salary. All the deduction will be allowed. So it's a, it's not a problem to claim any expenditure which uh, we uh, the company has incurred to generate the uh, cryptocurrency. And uh, on taxation part, they have to pay the taxes as per the government rules, which are applicable because there is no specific rule specified by the government so uh, you have to pay the taxes just as uh, GST or uh, 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 income tax. Uh, that, that liability will be you have to bear. You know, uh, uh, not long back, the ministry had said, Amit, that uh, the listed companies, if they were holding cryptocurrencies on their balance sheet, they had to then tell it in their annual reports. I mean, that is something that the ministry already has told the companies. But for various other people, various other investors, small and big, is there any law like that as of now? Or as you earlier said, that if it was in small quantities, then it perhaps can be looked over. Uh, yeah, ministry has uh, uh, notified that key, you have to uh, uh, disclose this uh, uh, cryptocurrency in your balance sheet. Uh, and uh, maybe there is in some times uh, in ITR form, they have uh, required that you have to disclose all the things. Uh, because they want to know ki how much amount they have people have invested in that cryptocurrency because ye, they want to uh, close watch ki that amount is goes to the cryptocurrency which cannot be used 
for uh, uh, their threatening purpose. Majorly, cryptocurrency is using for uh, uh, key, that key, uh, you have to pay some uh, uh, bribe or some uh, hackers. Key, uh, majorly, so government want that key, you have to, key, they have knowledge about that, key, they have invested that amount. And what is the purpose of the amount? This is the investment. Or maybe there is a uh, some other reason they have uh, get this uh, money and uh, not disclose in the uh, their financial statements so maybe in future they have required in itr also itr form also because lower investor not mentioned that they are not uh, doing the uh, business so they he is not uh, uh, prepare his balance sheet only businessman who is doing the business is prepared the balance sheet so uh, ITR is much uh, better option that it, uh, government ask ki you have to put the investment amount or the holding of uh, cryptocurrency so that they can know ki people uh, how much amount are investing in that currency. Point taken, Amit. So there's a lot of ifs and buts, as you've told us. But to be on the safer side of the law, this is best that you do pay your taxes, that you do disclose on what kind of cryptocurrencies are you holding and how much profits have you made out of that. Clearly, there's a lot of opportunity that people see in sense of cryptocurrencies and the kind of return that they've made for so many people in India and abroad. But how you hold it, how you pay your taxes, how much are you investing in it are some of the things that, uh, remember, the authorities are keeping an eye on. I mean, thank you so much for joining us and explaining all of that to our viewers. Uh, thank you so much. Wazirx and CNBC TV18 present Crypto, Digital Assets of the Future. Focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable.